Josh first back again with some more over it guys we are doing a lot of videos and a nice little sequence here today hope you guys are enjoying all these little mini guides I have another one for you now this one is about the new grimoire gear now the grimoire gear was not in soft launch of course it is here in global version I want to talk a little bit about the fake ones and how you should not invest in those at all um, I don't even know if I would even go to the lengths of even crafting them. Now, I made some early game mistakes because I wanted to kind of test out all the features in the game. That way, if I learn from those mistakes, I can share them with you guys on the channel. And I have learned quite a bit in the past few days, especially about the Grimoire gear. Now, as you guys know, the real Grimoire gear actually allows you to unlock your passive abilities on your characters. Those are absolutely OP and amazing. However, the fake ones are absolute rubbish. Um, stealing one of my, my words from one of my fellow uh, friends across the pond. <laughs> Anywho, so let's go to where we first can farm up this type of gear. Oh, you must like me. Leo, thank you so much for subscribing on the channel Why we're making a video. That's awesome. I love when that happens, guys, because you guys get a, you know, a random shout out. So you guys should always hit that subscribe button because you never know. Maybe I'm recording and make a video and you're going to get an awesome shout out. So thank you so much, Leo, for that. If you are in the comment section below, I will pin you and give you a heart. <laughs> Anywho, Untamed Sanctum is where we go. This is where the whole thing goes down. This is where we farm up those Grimoire gear. Um, if it ever wants to load. Thank you so much. So right now we're fighting Ignis, the Fire Dragon boss has appeared, etc, etc. Um, right now I'm actually farming this on level 7s. Um, I'm able to do that in like one run essentially so I'm able to do this pretty much twice without using any gems to try again Which I don't really advise doing that because um, the gems do start costing a little bit I think you can only do it five times anyway, but anywho So you farm Ignis the fire dragon Whatever drops you get it'll be a fake grimoire or it'll be a non-fake grimoire Which is the ones you really are hoping for um, But let's say you get a fake grimoire. You also have the shop here now the shop, you can actually use your Grimoire cores and your false Grimoire cores. Now you can buy those using the, um, I just call it powder. You know, that's what I just like to call it. I just call it gold powder or gold dust, actually. That's just what I like to call it. It's, it's a nice name and it looks good and if, it just feels right. So I call it gold dust, okay? So if you get 500 gold dust, you can buy false Grimoire cores times 10. If you get um, 5,000, you can buy a Grimoire Core times 10. Now, the Grimoire Core times 10 it will actually be enough to make one real Grimoire weapon. So, totally worth doing that 100%. Obviously, when you craft it, it's going to be a little bit of uh, RNG, I believe. Or I think they actually let you select it. Let's actually take a quick look real quick. I think you can actually select that. Let's go to crafting. Let's go to grimoire box. Fake grimoire, that's what we do not want. But grimoire box, yes. If you get 10 of them, you get a, uh, you have a low chance to obtain a UR grimoire equipment, which, oh boy. So, <laughs> so anyways, when you get 10 of those, you can just make a grimoire box. And I'm assuming it's going to be a random character that it's going to be for. But nonetheless, it's going to be a real one. And real ones are what you want. Or you can make a fake grimoire, which is actually select. I know this one was select. Um, and this is where you don't want to really, you really don't want this. You really just, it's kind of pointless to waste resources for this. And the reason why is you're going to get a weapon. And after you get your weapon, you're going to go down to heroes. I'll just show you one that I have right now on my dark hell. All right. I actually pulled this, but you can also craft this. So I crafted it, or I'm sorry, I pulled it, but you can craft it, put it on my Dark Hell, who, which it's for, and he gets a whopping 93 attack. Like, wow, it's, it, this blows me away, right? No, <laughs> it's terrible. It's so small that you can't even tell if it's even there in the first place when you're in battle. The difference is just so puny, it doesn't even matter. If it was like a few hundred attack, possibly a thousand attack, then yeah, sure, you would notice the difference. Um, and as you also notice, fake gear does not have substats. So another reason not to really invest in a, to false grimoire gear. It's completely useless 
at the moment. Maybe they'll do something different with it in the future, but at the moment of this video that I'm recording for this, there is no need for it. I mean, if you get it to drop and you don't have a, a gear on your character, your Grimoire gear, then sure, equip it. I mean, it's free, right? You didn't do anything for it. But do you craft them? No. I don't feel that it's worth it at all. Save those resources to buy the real ones. Even if you gotta rely on RNG to give you um, one that you need for a character, I still rather it do that. That way it's at least gonna be useful at some point than these pieces of garbage that are completely useless in my opinion because they have no substats. They don't offer anything but a main attack stat, unfortunately. And if you go to equip fortification to level them up, even if I maxed it out, literally maxed it out at level 10 it's gonna go up a whopping 19 more attack it's not even worth the resources or the goal to do it so i just wanted to let you guys know about that i wasn't sure if a lot of you were aware maybe you thought oh my god it's a grimoire it's got to be op or it's got to be good i should probably level it up i should probably equip it i should probably craft it i just want to kind of say guys it's not worth it take your rng with a real grimoire because those are the ones that actually give you the passive abilities, they give you the good substats, all that other, all those other things that you want to see in your character. The false ones are utterly just garbage. You equip them if you pull them, but do not level them up. Don't waste your resources crafting them either. Hopefully, I help a lot of you guys out because I wanted to go through that stage to kind of see and learn everything, and I learned uh, that they're not good. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully this video helps a lot of you out so you don't make those same mistakes or even bother dealing with them just go all in on the rainbow ones guys the actual good ones that give you obviously a non-fake grimoire but anyways i'm gonna get out of here hopefully this guide was helpful you know drop a like as always subscribe if you're new join us in the discord below to keep the conversation going before and after the video and that's about it for me today I hope. Until next time, I'll catch you guys all later. Have a good one. Peace.